and welcome to Minecraft. I am Midnight Mountain Wolf, and I'm going to be showing you guys a little of the bit of the few things that I've been creating on uh, my favorite server. Um, I am using the Monkey Farms resource pack. If anyone's interested, and I'll link that in the notes. Let's go and hop on. Uh, I am playing on Ye Old Server, which is El Anezi's server. Which thank you guys so much for letting me play on here. You guys know I love it. <clears throat> So I'm going to go through and just show you guys a few of the awesome things that I've built uh, that I think are awesome. Oh, the sun, it blinds me. Ew. <clears throat> so hey, welcome back, and uh, we're uh, at the next build here. Um, this one is what I call my modern home. Um, I've been noticing a lot of builds on Minecraft about modern homes, researched it a little, really liked it. Um, these are the type of homes for people with, I'd say, you know, a little bit more money than the rest of us may have, but it's not your type of, like, mansion. It's really just a simple home with a few rooms, but it's built in a very artistic kind of Art Deco way. Um, I hope I sound like I know what I'm talking about. So, <laughs> this is my version of that. Um, we have the hedged walls here, a uh, little flower garden. Um, I wanted to use bright and dark colors for different reasons. Um, and just try to make it, you know, very much what I call awkwardly shaped in modern homes, yet at the same time, it works together. So let's go ahead and go inside. Um, here we have the living room area with the carpeted rug. This is our lava fireplace, very nice. Keeping things warm and, you know, it looks cool too. Then we have over here the big screen TV for all the awesome events that you want to watch. Very nice. Um, I really love how homes with the wood beams exposed and high vaulted ceilings. They're just, they're awesome. Uh, here we have the full complete wraparound leather couch with a uh, glass uh, table, uh, light fixtures, and lighting coming up from the floor, which is also amazing. So. There we have all that. Then over here we have the kitchen area. Um, <clears throat> the uh, marble topped table with chairs. And <clears throat> in the kitchen here, I wanted to use a very bright color like yellow. I love the idea of <clears throat> kitchens and breakfast areas being very bright, very lit up. Um, I would have liked to have done a little more with this, but I like the fact that it's very small. Uh, this texture pack and using the emerald and diamond blocks just makes me think of really tacky linoleum flooring and tile, so it just works. I really like it. Um, I use the ender stones uh, to be burners for the uh, stove and oven. We've got the sink here and a fridge. Of course, nothing functional, but it, you know it looks like a fridge, so it works. <clears throat> and uh, over here we have an extended couch for lounging and then over here we have what I call the sunshine room once again using bright colors this is an area you would probably go to read a book and uh, soak up some sunshine which is always nice you know cats be all lounging about on you gotta have a little spot for the couch and this is certainly no home that would be like a lot of rooms for uh, <clears throat> like a family. This would probably just be a place for a couple. Uh, very small. Now over here we have what I like to call the exposed stairwell. And this is encased in glass and is visible. Um, something about glass houses, you know, and just an exposed viewing area. I like it. And really people are only seeing you up and down the stairs, but uh, it's interesting. And it looks like there's a cow! There's a cow in my yard! You dirty cow. Um, I did build in a snow biome, not my favorite. Um, it it kind of makes the backyard not look as nice as it could be, but at the same time it makes it real. Um, I put a few snowmen back there a couple times. So, dirty cow in my yard. Farmer Brown's gonna hear about this. So here's the bedroom. Um, I wanted this all to be one piece. So here we have the bed with a little bit of artwork, and the texture pack with this artwork is nice. Um, I like it. Um, we have a couch for viewing the sunrise and set. 
a uh, lovely carpeted area, and I love the carpets uh, here in Minecraft. It's a nice feature added. Here we have a desk uh, for some learned activities. Semi-functional. And then I put the bathroom in here as well. Um, here you have the tub, sink and mirror, and uh, where we all do our business. <laughs> yeah, functional. So that's the bedroom. Uh, I wanted it all in just one clumped up area. So, and going down the hallway, we got a little artwork. Hey, look, it's Disneyland. And uh, this this then goes to the exposed outdoor um, patio. Okay, exposed, yeah. So we have some chairs here for the view. Nice. We have a table for eating. And then we have the lovely grill right here for some grilling up some burgers and dogs. You know me, gotta have the grill. Then we have the fire pit for uh, roasting some uh, s'mores and checking out the scene. And so yeah, that's pretty much my modern house build. It's, uh, it's one of my faves, I like it. And now, to finish off this, we're gonna go to Castle Grayskull, which you can see here in the distance. Um, I call it that not because it's the castle from the hit TV series, uh, well, hit, I don't know about hit, but it's He-Man, you know, from the 80s. No, I just call it that because it's a castle that has a skull. Although Nezzy tells me that it looks more like a monkey head, which I have to say I agree, so maybe it should be Castle Monkey Head. I'm not sure yet. You know, it's a, it's a title work in progress. But as you can see, as you come up to the castle itself, we have the monkey head. I, for one, love the flaming eyeballs. Uh, it just gives it a great effect. I put a crown on him, because, you know, he's a king. We have the nose and the mouth, and as you can see, the entranceway here it goes into the mouth itself. But uh, I'm going to do a quick flyby and get you guys a look at the castle itself. So as we continue upward, you can see here is the rest of the castle. And once again, um, floor plan drawing out is really a good idea once again this build came out very square it's freaking minecraft For some reason i cannot think in more than two-dimensional <laughs> and i know i can <laughs> i just don't uh so i think i'm going to add some additions coming out and there's some exposed stuff too that i want to cover but uh i chose this location just because of this great mountainside i mean just I came upon it and I was like wow it's just perfect all front faced you know and the skull coming out of the hillside castle rising above it the moon can't go wrong with that so uh, let's go ahead and show you the inside let's go ahead and fly down here to the bridge B -b -b bridge B -b -b bridge okay so So here we have the entranceway and portcullis to the gate uh, entering system. This is to prevent um, certain mobs from entering. I mean, I could easily put doors as well, but there's just something about a gate uh, that is really nice. And this is a full functional gate. It's a one button push system on each side, so you don't have to push one button and then push another or throw a switch. No, it's, it uses a toggle system. So. It's, it's really nice. So let's go ahead and open the gate here. And there you go. Gate is open. Now, just by another push of the button, I can close this. But before I do, I also want to show you this right here. This is a lock system. Um, let's just imagine that the gate's down right now. By flicking this switch, any button pushing that happens. If I can push the button here. See? Nothing's gonna happen. So if the gate's down and I flick that switch, it's locked. Nobody's getting in, of course, unless they break the locks, which is cheating. But let's say once again that the gate is down, and Mr. Creeper comes walking in, and he's like, Hey there, friend. Why don't you let me on in? I just want to share some popsicles with you. And I'm like, No way, bro. Totally uncool. That's what I have this switch for little flicko of this switch which should flick there we go 
and the outside of the monkey skull, nostrils open, and lava pours forth. Oh, hello, lava. Oh, delicious hot liquid magma. So the lava pours out. Ah, Mr. Creeper burns. Because obviously, if the gate's up, he ain't coming in. And the only other way out is through here. And this is all obsidian line, too, so, uh, you know, it's good. So, uh, that's the little magma lava defense system I talked about. Just a little something to add for flare. It's, it's a lot of fun. Uh, and once I turn that off, those close, the, 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 the lava will pour back down to itself and dissipate. So, no problem. So, let's go ahead and close the gate here. We'll unlock the system. The button. And there you go, the gate's closed. So, uh, it's, it's an awesome system. Um, I will link a tutorial video of how I built this. Um, it was really helpful and uh, made it really awesome for this castle, so it was a lot of fun. So, coming into the main room here, we have the entranceway. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of chandeliers and lights. Um, lighting a space this large uh, takes a lot of light, so you know we don't want creepers running around. But up the stairs we go to the second floor, which has a lot of books that we'll never read. Because it's a video game, sillies. So there you go there. And up the next staircase. Now this room here is not finished. Um, I'm probably going to be putting some bedrooms other things in here, um, as well as I probably will be putting a gel in the basement. We'll have a stairwell leading to the basement at some points. Um, like I said, this is still a work in progress, but this is what I've got going on. Follow the red carpet up to the next floor, where we have uh, the throne room. This is where the king and queen sit themselves up and they, you know, pass judgment on all us fools. A couple of side rooms for probably eating, things like that. Um, I love using stone for castles. You gotta try and mix it up though, and I sometimes feel like I didn't. So there's definitely room for improvement. Um, all the lights you see in here though are redstone powered using the sun switch, which is awesome. So, just to give you an idea. There's Mr. Sunshine, and boop, there they go. Turned off. So, whenever the sun is out, natural light spills in here. Those lights stay off. Um, a couple are on right now because of the rain. But when it becomes dark and the sun goes down, we lose that natural light, and so these pop on using the sun switch with a reverse gate. So, a lot of awesome there. So, onward, upward. Little staircase here. Boop -a -doop -a -doop. And here we have the courtyard with a lovely roaring fire, uh, guard shack, and of course the towers where your archers will stay. Guard patrol, very nice. Um, I do want to build some more peaking towers, uh, more like spires that you see on some castles. So. The castle itself, I wasn't too, I don't know, I guess hip on building. I really just wanted to enjoy building the skull and the gate system, but it felt so naked and left undone without something else to complement it. So I built the castle as well. A lot of time went into it, and I love, I love being able to choose locations like this, where you know you're flying around through Minecraft or you're running around, however you play, whether it's survival or creative. Um, you find these kind of areas, and you're just like, I don't know what I'm gonna build, but I'm gonna build something here. That's that's always a lot of awesome fun, fun, you know. So, and I like to play both. Uh, if I play creative, it's to build, not to be like I'm living and building. No, I just build. If I play survival, it's just survival. So, you know. But yeah, that's the builds I have on here. I wanted to share those with you guys, let you get a view of some of the stuff that's going on. So I really hope you guys enjoyed that and, uh, you know, that it was something that you uh, 
liked. If you're on the server, go ahead and come by and uh, check out the builds if you want. And if you're not on the server and you just happen to find this video, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And that's about it, everybody. Y'all have a good time now, you hear? Guys, where are we going? Guys, where are we going? Why are you standing in a hole? Why, why won't you talk to me?